I'm in my element. This is just me to a T. Planning, the scheduling, the vision boards, mood boards. <sighs> I'm excited for this video. Welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited for today's video. If you are new here, then I'm so happy to meet you. Thank you so, so much for finding me and I would really, really appreciate it if you went down there and subscribed to my channel because it does genuinely mean the absolute world to me. I'm so excited to get cracking on with this video. So we are gonna be... Oh my God, I thought I just saw a spider. Oh, I swear I just saw something. Right, we're okay. I'm not gonna let that ruin my vibe. So in today's video, I thought that it would be like a really, really lovely idea for at the beginning of every month, I want to do like a that month's goals with you. So it means that I've got like a video to go back on and watch and see like all of my goals that I wanted to achieve that month. And then at the beginning of the next month, then I can reflect on the previous month and also plan my goals for the following month. Does that make sense? We're going to be talking through the goals that I've made for May. And then I also thought that it would be a lovely, lovely thing to do to create like a vision board for each month as well. So basically what I'm going to do is I've got this scrapbook that I found lying about in my cupboard just festering dust and not being put to good use as I have a lot of notebooks like that. I'm a stationery queen like literally anything stationery can't talk again because I'm getting excited anything stationery like throw it at me. In my dream house I want to have an office where I can work and have it just full of organised stationery. <sighs> that would be the dream. I don't know about anybody else, but I can so much more like easily manifest my goals if they're right in front of me and I've got pictures of them and I can visualise those goals and dreams actually happening. So I thought I'm going to start a scrapbook for each month's so it's going to be like my monthly goal scrapbook and i'm just really excited to have this video to like watch back on and then come what's the next month june good one ashley <laughs> then towards the first of june i'll be able to make another video another lot of vision boards for that month and hopefully each month this is just going to be a good way for me to just smash out my goals and i thought it'd be really lovely to like share this idea with you in case it sort of like inspires anyone to do the same thing and I would absolutely love to see your vision boards if you go ahead and sort of like follow this idea as well. So make make sure that you tag me in them on Instagram. So I'll put my handle here for you so you can go and follow me over there. But make sure you tag me in them because I would love to see your vision boards and just share our goals together and just send out those positive vibes and let's just like manifest our dreams people. So without further ado, let's get straight into my goals list. So some of you may have seen on my Instagram that I posted a story the other day. I literally just sat down. I made a massive calendar of May and planned out things I wanted to get done next month. I will pop a picture of the calendar here just in case you want to go and copy it. It's dead simple. It's literally just squares on a bit of paper. There's not really that much to copy. But it's a massive A3 piece of paper so it's going to be really clear for me to see everything that I want to get done and I'm going to stick it on the side of my fridge so that basically I've got it up there as soon as I walk down into the kitchen every morning I will see my goals right in front of me. You will soon find out that I like things like scheduled and as a routine <laughs> and I don't mind changing that routine but as long as those goals are in front of me then I feel like they're just more reachable for some reason. And also at the same time, I sat down and wrote out all my goals that I wanted to do in May. So I wrote these in my daily journal, which you would have seen in previous videos. So it's just literally like a three pound pink book. Nothing fancy. I have yet to like try out one of these like 30 pounds planners that you see on Amazon and every time I go and put it in my basket I'm like oh my goodness that looks so pretty so beautiful and then I'm like can I actually spend 30 pounds 30 pounds on a planner 
yes, it would be nice to have a bit more of a fancier journal, but I think I just can't part with the money just yet. So, it's in my basic journal. I've split my goals into like separate categories, should we call them as such. So I've got like a happiness category, health, ambition and learning. So within my happiness category, I'm going to keep on looking down because I'm going to be looking at my journal. I have got that I want to keep on writing in my journal as well. I did used to make sure that I wrote in this every single day, but it's becoming like an every sort of like two or three days sort of thing. So basically what I have done is in my big scrapbook at the beginning of every month i'm gonna have like a gratitude section so i'll just show you i've made like a smaller version of my massive a3 schedule what i'll then do is every single day i'll write something in there that i'm grateful for just so that i can make sure that i'm still practicing like daily gratitude and also that's going to be something really really lovely to look back on so that i can remember something that's happened from every single day i think as soon as you practice gratitude it just instantly makes you happier anyway so that's setting me up for a positive month and then on top of that i will continue to do since the beginning of the year i have kept my weekly gratitude journal so this one which you would have seen loads of times before because i always harp on about it also i want to make sure that i'm keeping in contact with family and friends at least once a week i put i know i'll call them more than that but i just want to make sure that i am keeping contact especially at a time like this and then last of all in my happiness category i've just got to make sure that i'm following these goals and the tasks that i set out to achieve so basically i want to make sure that i'm still staying hard working ambitious grateful and just finding like a reason to smile every day as cheesy as that sounds it's what keeps me positive i don't want to set like loads of goals because i don't want to bombard myself i just want to keep sort of like three or four goals between each category just so that i know that they are also like maintainable and achievable as well so my second category is all to do with health so over the last like probably six months i have noticed like a change in my body and i have definitely put on some weight weight is such like a i don't know how to explain it it's a subject that not many people touch on because obviously i don't want to step on anybody's toes but i just gotta remember that these goals are personal to me and this is how i feel and these are goals that i want to achieve so basically i do want to lose some weight next month because i know then i feel like more happy and more confident in my body to do that I want to make sure, first of all, that I'm going to get back into running. So I've set myself the task of going on two, three kilometre runs per week. So, like, working on those and quickening my time. To be honest, actually, I'm not even that bothered about time. As long as I get out and do the exercise, then I'll be happy. And then I also want to push to do a one five kilometre run each month. Now, those distances probably seem absolutely nothing for some people, but I cannot run to save my life. And I used to absolutely love it. Like, I used to go out on runs all the time when I was younger, and now it's really not my thing. So I want to get back into running again. And then to go alongside those runs, I want to set out a workout routine and actually follow it because I do have a holiday coming up and I will be going on it. So I do just want to make sure that when I'm walking down the beach, I'm feeling my best and looking my best and just feeling myself. Yeah, this is a massive one for me. I don't want to knowingly eat something that's just going to make me feel rubbish the next day. So, I always do this, I'm always like, it's fine, I'll have another bit of cake, I'll have another biscuit, I'll have another chocolate bar, because it's going to make me happy. Realistically, yes, that does make me feel really, really happy, and I'm not saying I'm going to cut out all rubbish, because I'm definitely not, because I'm loving baking this lockdown, but I just want to basically be able to portion it, just enjoy enough without making myself feel all bloated and then just rubbish the next day so i'm definitely still going to be treating myself 100 because i can't live without that but i don't want to then be indulging basically and waking up the next morning and feeling like oh you know like you get that feeling the next day when you're just eating so much and you just feel like a bit of a lump because i know that when i eat better foods i feel a lot lot better in myself so i'm just going to make sure that Sometimes I'm going to be like, no, 
I don't need another chocolate bar, Ashley. Um, I want to also do yoga once a week as well because that is a massive like de-stressor for me. I absolutely love doing things that are just going to make me feel like, oh, like the feeling like you get after a good bubble bath. That kind of feeling. That's what yoga gives me. And then lastly, when it comes to health, I just want to make sure that I'm drinking two litres of water every single day. Moving on to category number three is all to do with ambition. I want to be working on a few things behind closed doors that I will share in the future, but I'm so excited for them. And I'm not going to talk anymore because it does my head when people do this, so I don't want to be one of those people. But yeah, I've got a couple of things that I'm working on that... Are gonna be big in the future i want to make sure that i maintain my cozy chat series for the whole month as well because i've really enjoyed just sitting down like i'm doing now and just chatting to you and just having a good old chin wag basically because i absolutely loved doing that cozy chats just chilling on my bed and just chatting and talking and answering your questions i loved that so i want to make sure that i keep that going for the whole month of may um, I would absolutely love to be able to do my giveaway in May as well. So that means I need to hit 500 subscribers because my giveaway box is getting there. Like, ee, it's exciting. I've got my box now. I've got bits going into it. And I just want to give it away to somebody. Just say thank you, thank you for subscribing. Just means the world to me. So I cannot wait to be able to do that giveaway. Ugh. Why is it? Do you know what I should put on my goals list is learn to talk when excited. Because I just can't. It just all just blurts out and I can't talk. But I am going to be so excited when it gets to that day that I can do a giveaway. Eep. So I'm thinking of maybe doing a giveaway when I get to 5,000 followers on Instagram as well. Because I would love to have like 5,000 lovely, lovely people. Oh, maybe I'm going to have to write that down last of all in my ambition i just want to make sure that i'm still just uploading sticking to my schedule and just making sure that i'm able to speak to you beautiful lot basically because there's literally nothing that's making me happier at the moment than creating these videos and just being able to chat with all you lot i'm absolutely loving it it gets me so excited and then category four um is learning so i want to get back into reading please let me know if you've got any fab book recommendations down below because i really just need some really good books to read i want to read like two normal books and i also want to listen to one audiobook so normally i listen to like self-care and positive and self-love sort of books on audible i have downloaded my audiobook already so i've downloaded atomic habits and it's by james clear so this one apparently is a groundbreaking book oh where he reveals exactly how minuscule changes can grow into such life-altering outcomes so a load of simple life hacks just to make you feel better basically so i'm excited to listen to that and then i just need a couple of good actual fictional good books to get into i normally tend to read just like crime books but i don't really read like your soppy romantic books to be honest with you but if you've got any good ones definitely let me know those and then i want to get back into doing like my little french lessons that i was doing as well so if you saw in my quarantine routine i was using the duolingo app on my phone just to do like little 10 minute lessons and it was just sort of like just something different to do so i definitely want to get back into doing those because they were quite fun actually so i've said that i want to do at least like four lessons a week and that's just like for 10 minute slots so really it's absolutely nothing and then last of all on my list i want to learn how to do winged eyeliner because i cannot do it to save my life like how easily some people do it they're just like boom boom done and then <sighs> baffles me Whoo! that's quite a lot of goals isn't it <sniffs> now on to the exciting bit Eep! i have got my print stick I have got my scissors, I've got some coloured paper, I've got some card and most importantly, based around those goals that I've just been talking about, I have printed out some pictures that I want to get stuck into this monthly scrapbook. So what I'm thinking is I will stick you up on a time lapse so you can 
watch me make it because I, there is nothing that I find more satisfying than seeing something like come together on a time lapse. I don't know about you, but I'm going to absolutely love watching this back. So I hope that you enjoy it as well. And I will catch up with you shortly. <laughs> finished my vision board so this is what we're looking like for may um i've got a few more gaps so i'm gonna um print off a few more bits i think um and do that another day i don't want to do it all in one go because i've really enjoyed like having this as something to do just like throughout the day so i'm gonna come back to it another day so i can sort of like spread it out seeing as we've got a lot of time on our hands at the moment so let's start over here um, I've got a few pictures of like when I went on a walk the other day with Mark and the dogs I'm so sorry about my nails. Maybe I'll use a, a pen to point I don't want you to see my nails are gross Like it was so lovely just to see like the butterflies and different flowers and I've got some more pictures of that over here Like the sun setting and then different flowers because I just think it's so important just to appreciate what's around you, especially during a time like this. So I'm going to make sure that I keep going on spring walks in May and just appreciating all the beautiful nature that's coming out now. Over here, I've got our Mexico holiday. So this is where we're going and I'm so excited for that. We've got like my little ambition section here. I need to print off like a little giveaway sticker to put on there as well somewhere too. Um, but I would love to hit 500 subscribers and reach 5k on Instagram. Then we've just got a quote. So success doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. Just got like a little family part here. So that's me and Mark. And then we've got a cute one of us and the doggies there. And then this page. So I've got books up in the corner. Because obviously I want to read more books. And bonjour for my French lessons. I thought I'd stick a couple of things on here that like I'm always dreaming about like throughout all the months so obviously the car that I want and a dream house as well. Um, I've got another little like ambition part over here. I absolutely love seeing your guys' pictures of me on Instagram with you watching me like this picture genuinely like made me well up. It was so surreal and I absolutely love it. And then just some comments from you guys because your comments mean the absolute world to me. And it's just a dream that they're happening. So I really hope that um, I can like talk to you more in May. Then I've got like a little organisation bit down here. I want to make sure that I've got like more pastels and colours and things like that ready for spring in my wardrobe. I want to organise... Um, my drawers as well so they look like that because oh my goodness how amazing do they look um i started doing my fridge as you probably would have seen in my weekend vlog but this is stacy solomon's fridge the one that i was talking about in the other video and that just looks amazing and then over here is all the healthy food so this is pictures of my food i find it so much more realistic when it's actually food that i enjoy and that i've cooked because 
it just makes it feel like it's a lot easier to achieve so i'm going to make sure that i'm eating good food along with treating myself it's my chocolate roulade um and then i've got the power because i want to read that book and obviously i'm forever wanting to practice law of attraction and feeling grateful and then just a picture of a run that i did the other day oh we've got another quote blossoming into a boss woman with more faith than fear okay so that is going to go ahead and conclude the video that was such a lovely task to do and i literally i couldn't recommend you do it enough like let's take those off it was so soothing so calming i just put some lovely music on in the background and it was just so 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 nice and um, so i really hope that you have a go at making them remember to tag me in them also subscribe if you haven't done already because it means the world to me and i will see you in my next video Mwah.